Oh. How'd you go from being scared of your own shower to sh- uh, sh- uh, shadow to throwing chairs at teachers? <laughs> Just a bad kid. <laughs> That's funny. How'd you go from dancing in Lawrenceville to being afraid of fire? Because being a bad kid. I was shit up in the air and catching shit on fire. <laughs> that was I feel like this is a I'm going to pass the phone moment. I'm going to pass the phone to somebody who... Okay, well, I'm going to pass the phone to someone with agony. Yeah, you got agony, <laughs> you stupid motherfucker. You lost already. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Squabble Podcast. This is Dahama. That's Johan. That's Brittany. And I'm Ruby, <coughs> the star of the show. Welcome to today's podcast. Like, make you guys <laughs> make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your post notifications on so you know when we post a video. Yeah. If you guys were, if we <clears throat> took it all the way back to the olden days before there was guns and there was just swords and bow and arrows, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was you versus fifty people. Would you rather have on your side two lions? Or 200 ducks. <coughs> the ducks. The ducks. The lions, because the people would be afraid of them. But ducks are mean. I mean. If you get a domesticated duck, the last time, we last time, I think, well, I think it was when we went to Tennessee, a duck stole our, our car keys, and we had, we had, like, we had we spent, like, an hour and a half, like, looking for them. And they were just, like, sitting on the floor next to where all the ducks are. Mm-hmm. So... They're mean, and no one understands that they're mean. They just walk around as people, and they could attack at any moment. Yeah, so. I, I, I don't know about the lions, because, like, back in the day, they probably killed lions for, like, clothes and stuff anyway. So, like, and it's 50 mm. people, so. The ducks, like, trying to kill the people, or are they just, yeah, like, the ducks are on your side, so they're actually attacking. And- yeah, and ducks yeah. can fly. <laughs> yeah, I'll be chilling. They can fly. Yeah. Have you guys ever been lost in the store? Yes. yes. There was this time, well, was the reason why I don't like, uh, Home Depot is because there's this one time I think I was with you, Johan, and Dad, and I don't know. I I, or I think I was like, it does, does sound. sound right. wait. When has the home been with Dad? I don't know. We, we were in the store, <coughs> right? And we were playing hide and seek, right? And this is a dream. This is not a dream. <laughs> this is not a dream. Because I remember I went to I went I hid behind Sir Random like a uh, like line like. I don't know, some random storage thing. And then some I random work. I say lion. No. <laughs> some, some random, and then some random uh, work is like, why are you here? You shouldn't be here. And she was really mean about it. She dragged my arm all the way to death. Like, this is, is that your child? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, it was scary. That, did y'all ever, do y'all ever think about like those old myths or those old stories you used to tell us? Like, oh, if you eat a seed, it'll grow in your stomach or anything. Do y'all ever believe or i did because like there was this animation (coughs) and they showed us this and when i was like in fourth grade it was like this guy he ate a watermelon he became a watermelon it was weird as fuck mine was the step on the crap breaking mama's back what if they didn't actually what if they the step on your crap breaking mama's back came from somebody actually stepping on their mom's butt crack and they broke her back instead of people thinking a crack on the floor that makes more sense than a step on a crack on the floor is gonna break your mama's back Stepping on her crack is more likely to break her back. On her actual butt crack is more likely to break her back than stepping on a random crack on a random floor. That actually makes more sense. I guess, but like, that's obvious, duh. Don't step on your on your own butt crack. So it's like I don't think it'll be a saying if it, if that was just one instance. So you think it'll, it's it's crazier for it to be a saying that it's a crack on the floor than a saying of don't step on your own butt crack? I, I, I think it's I think it's common sense to step on your own butt crack. How long has the saying been a thing? I only know it because of Diary of Wimpy Kid. It's been a thing since I was a kid. Step on the crap, break him over. <coughs> I felt like sayings are like something like, oh, don't do this because this. But I think that literally obvious. is don't do this because this. Yeah, don't do not do this because of this. But like, that's obvious. Obviously, don't step on your mom's butt crack. That's like saying, don't go when it's red. Like, that's, that's so obvious. But it had to be a thing. Nobody knew that off rip. Nobody attached red to stop until somebody said, when is red, you stop. I think that's stupid. But y'all, <laughs> the, that's stupid, but y'all the niggas that believe if you eat something, it's going to grow in your stomach. I didn't believe it. Okay, what's something it. you believe in? You're scared I believe, of fire. Uh, that's, that's not my... 
Fire is scary. It can kill you. Obviously, I was scared of, I was scared, I was scared of fire. Weren't you scared of your own shadow? <laughs> When I was three, <laughs> when I was three, y'all nigga, you believe in shit in school? I'm not even in school. <laughs> no, that's funny. At three, still, you're trying to put down the level of a nigga in the fourth grade believing he eats a pumpkin seed on growing stuff. That's different. I was I was blinded by media. You were blinded by yourself, <laughs> nigga. You have the cognitive thinking to even understand that that's not true. That's a word. The shadow isn't it? Okay, that's like if okay, I understand if you like saw like a movie <laughs> and the shadow attacked the guy, right? But you didn't. Peter Pan. Really? I don't remember. It was, was just... three years old. <laughs> How'd you go from being scared of your own shower to sh- uh, sh- uh, shadow to throwing chairs at teachers? Just a bad kid. <laughs> that's funny. How'd you go from dancing in Lawrence to being afraid of fire? Because Being a bad kid, I throwing was... shit up in the air, catching shit on fire. That wasn't I feel like this is a I'm a pass the phone moment. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody who. Okay, well, I'm gonna pass the phone to someone with acne. Nigga, you got acne, <laughs> you stupid motherfucker. You lost already. Speaking of dumb shit, you know what else I think is dumb? I think the concept of jail is dumb. <coughs> what are you Johan. Imagine Johan. He's going through life, he's in college at this point. He made one bad decision. He was poor as fuck, couldn't find a job, kept getting fired. He made one bad decision to rob a bank, and now he's going to jail for a long ass time because of one bad decision. I feel like they should look at like merit. Like I know they have the whole first offenders, you get a less sentence or whatever, but I don't think childhood really sets you up for like drinking. Like for instance, same thing. Johan, college, makes one bad decision, goes to jail for 10 years. Right, Johan, sixth grade makes one bad decision, gets suspended, gets to go home. So it's like, where, where in the justice system did it all of a sudden go from? You're bad. You did. You got in a fight. Go home for a couple of days. But That's yeah. basically you're, 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 you're school. So on that note, mm-hmm. the let's say it was us street. I vandalized the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Halfway through us vandalized the bathroom, Johan realizes, damn, I actually don't want to do this anymore. Like, this is a bad idea. But he's still going to get the same punishment because he was st- he was a part of it, right? Yeah. We get something to give. We're still getting education. We're still getting, uh, like, some form of food. Like, nothing changes except for the probably inconvenience. Now your parents got to take you to a school that's probably out of your range. Yeah. Grow up, Johan is robbing the bank. After he sees an old lady crying in the corner, he's like, damn, I probably shouldn't have done that. I actually don't want to rob the bank no more. But the police are already on the way. Here's our turn to... Going to jail, when he comes, whatever happens in there happens, and when he comes out, he can't get a good job. He couldn't get a job anyway, that's why he's robbing the bank. So you put him in the worst position. For the good one, it's like you still get an education. The, the diploma's the same. As long as you get a diploma, it doesn't matter where you got it from. Diploma's a diploma. But it's not like they can like just like give you like a benefit for doing something bad, even if you knew it was wrong. No, I didn't say a benefit, but it's just like, that's what I said, the concept of it. There should be a punishment, but the fact that like somebody... You go to jail because you had an armed robbery. I go to jail because I couldn't pay my speeding tickets. But because we both went to jail, now we both can't get a good job. But your pun- your, what you did was way worse. But because we both have jail on our record, I can't get the same job you can't get. I feel like the time matters. Like if, you, like if Johan was like a young offender and he stabbed someone in his middle school and he went to jail for like, he went to juvie for like 10 years. That has, that's well, how that'll it works. that'll be redacted when he turns 18. That's all a separate file. Really? Okay, never mind. When he turns 18, he stabs <laughs> someone on his 18th birthday, and he gets sent away for five years. Well, yeah, about five years. And then uh, 20 years later, he turns his life around. He's always doing so much better for himself, and he goes to get a job. Like, if you, how you, it's, it's, it's very, like, unless, like, they see that he's black and he's red and they're racist or something, like, <coughs> it's, it's very hard to use, to just, like, Oh, well, he went to jail to do it all for this. But wow, he's had this job. He did this. He he, he volunteers. He did it all. He's a really good, well rounded person. So it's kind of like it's dumb to just ignore the other parts. Yeah, I understand. Like, yeah, it's like, mm, they went to jail. It's, it's kind of like a setback, you know? And like the bar is kind of like lower for you to do an actual good job. But like if you have a good resume built and you have actually done like good things, then I think, uh, also background checks, can't you check what you went to jail for? 
they probably don't care that much. Like, if it's between Johan, who had something when he was 18, and now he has a great, great, he did volunteer, all the shit you were saying, mm-hmm. and me going for the same position, and I have a little less qualifications, but I have a cleaner record, majorities of jobs are going to go for the person that has a cleaner record. They just don't want to have to deal with it. Even though it was years ago, you're still a, a risk. Yeah, my really? man, I make the company. I've had bad. two teachers who, have, who went to jail before. That's Those on them. Teachers. I didn't hire them. There's a teacher do. shortage too. So because <coughs> they know most people are going to go with the, on purpose. Most people, most people are going to go with the less risky person. I guess. If you were hiring somebody, and you had in, hiring a nanny in the future, and you're like between well, the person who different. when they 18. No, nah, it's a job. What well, do you mean? It's a job. Because I was a nanny different. They are meant worse. to look after children. It's a job. But they, they didn't go to jail anything to do with children. They went to jail because they stole a car and sped off. That has nothing to do with children. Yeah, but... When they were 18. Hey, when they were 18. And then now she volunteers. She goes to the homeless shelter and gives out food every Saturday. All this other shit. But you have somebody else who didn't doesn't have anything on their record, but they don't have any experience with children. Mm. Which okay. one are you going to do? Maybe because me, if they, if the nanny has experience with children, I would ask her, why did you steal the car? And if it's and if she that doesn't them, matter. That's not your business. Why not? She's still looking after <laughs> my children. children. The, she's not gonna drive your children around. If she's driving your children, it's different. Like, hey, what's going on? Do you have a license? All the, this questions to ask. But yeah. if she just come into your house, watch them in this house, and leave, the car business has nothing to do with you. She ain't getting in no car. Exactly. So then I would hire her. Because, like, I'm just lying. I, no, I, 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 I guarantee if that was a real situation, you're not hiring. Her. Because, so, because, you would hire someone who has no experience dealing with children? Exactly. Even when I got my Over job, I had to get like three certifications. Yes. Between two people, I have no other candidates. Yes. I'm, I'm a judger. Respectfully, I'm a judger. If someone, if someone like stole a car and then someone. It's, a, it's yeah. the influence as well that could be on my kids versus somebody that's just, oh, you just don't have experience with kids yet. Yeah, I would not trust them. They were gonna burn down my house trying to cook. But you'll trust the nigga that stole a car. But that okay, was years ago. She, she may not burn down your house when you come out, your car is gone. It could be. <laughs> it could be. Like call the police. Then, and, and then what? If you if you have if you have like a if you have, if you have I forgot what it's called. It's like an <coughs> item inventory. And you say, yo, have this car and now it's gone. They can give you the money back. And you, can get, you, can get, you know how long that takes? It's not just like oh yeah, let me wire you the money right now. Let me cash after you. <laughs> That probably takes weeks. So that's weeks without your car. That's yeah, you your really, first You really can't you do just hire the person who didn't have any experience. And then your kid is... Mm, no, I'm not going to put that in there. It depends how old they are, though. To go, uh, the route I think you're trying to go. That's the same thing we see on LinkedIn all the time. People are like... People are saying... Uh, complaining like, oh, you're always saying it's an entry-level job, but I got to have five years experience. How do yeah. I have experience on an entry-level job if, I don't, if nobody ever gives me a chance? Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... And it depends on what job you're working on. Like a tech, yeah, you could just do is different. Yeah, you could just do like a multi-million dollar company is different too. Yeah, but it depends how old the kids are. Like if if they're like, <coughs> like if it's a baby and you have no experience, if you have, if I'm hiring that person because they at least they know how to take care of a baby. A baby if that, if that kid I hire that has no experience is like, uh, Miss uh, Miss Darku, your kid's crying. I don't know what to do. Like that pissed me off. Experience with kids doesn't mean to have experience with babies. Okay, let's say kids. Okay, three year old. Uh, Miss uh, Miss Ruby. Um, your kid uh, ran was running and it hit his head on the for- um the forehead on the counter. What do I do? Like that, well, that's that- three year old shit. No baby <laughs> said they can stop that. A three year old's gonna do what a three year old does. Yeah. But you could well, at least baby proof your house. That's on you. The three year old, they're about the height of a table. They're gonna run into the table. I guess, but it's like yeah, you should I be know, watching the table. They were scared of their shadow. You, you should, <laughs> <laughs> you should be, you should be watching them. If they're running around, say, "Hey, don't do that." And then some it kids shouldn't. don't like to be touched. Some parents don't like for the babysitter to dis- not discipline, but like chastise their kid. They're like you're just here to watch them, not discipline them or tell them what to do. Well, then that's why you should ask. Like, like with my job. When like like I actually no I don't do that either. Like when like some kids like Miss Ruby did it did this to me. I always like okay go tell go tell uh Mister Sherlita because she she's my boss. She knows how to do it. So then but but she <laughs> if they come to you and Miss Ruby this happened you say go tell my boss what are we have you here for? <laughs> because I I look. I, okay so you, you like watch the kids right? You watch the kids right? Yeah. If you watch the kids, why did it happen? What do you mean? Why does it happen? You said because you they're s- in the bathroom. I can't go in the bathroom. Why not? 
<laughs> there's, there's, there's teachers coming in middle school. When I used to be in middle yeah, school, but this is elementary teachers would come school. into the bathroom. Like, people, like, I don't know what happens in the bathrooms. But if they come telling me, if, if it's something, because I don't want to switch their words, obviously, because they're kids, and I don't know what they mean. So I'm like, hey, this happened, did I go tell her, right? Because she's more qualified, which leads me back to if they were more qualified, they would know how to handle it. They would be able to know, okay, this parent, they seem like a da 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 they seem like a Karen. I don't think I'm going I'm to I'm try to disappoint a kid too much. I'm just going to watch them, make sure they don't get hurt and go home. But if it's more of like a, oh, uh, like a, I feel like if you, if you work with kids before, you know how their parents work. Like, you know how, like, different parents would act during different situations. So I feel like you'd be more prepared to be like, oh, oh, crap, little little Billy was running around. He tripped and his head uh, hit the floor. Boom. And then he started crying, right? Like, then you're like, oh, Billy, come on, let's get an ice pack. Because if I tell your mom, she's like, why don't stop it? So, you know, because some parents are like that. So, I feel like if you're more qualified, it, was, it, was, it would take care of more things yourself. Instead of having to, like, oh, my gosh, I don't know what to do. Right? I'm not qualified. I had it's, the only separations I have. I took a chance. Nigga, somebody took a chance on you. You work with kids. You have no experience with kids. Somebody took a chance on you. Case closed. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Technically, yeah, she does. I technically do. She has experience with kids. What kids? At church. I, oh. Hell does no. That, that does not count. I, I, does I do babysitting. Because she doesn't work with the kids. When have you ever babysitting? This is because you go to a church right, with kids okay, and right. you have experience with that kids. That was back in the day. <laughs> exactly. She's staying in I that do. small ass room. She don't have experience with kids. She walked by them. Hello, hello. That is nice. If that, that's not uh, experience. That's good. Everybody has experience with kids. Uh, but babysitting, I brought it, me and Johan used to babysit Brandon and Caleb. That was a collaboration and we barely did anything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grandma was there. It was not. So y'all she didn't was, babysit. Either way, I put it on a resume and it worked. Either way, I put it on a resume and it worked. Okay. So you so, lied. No, so, I, so basically, when this video gets published, you're getting fired. No, I'm not. Because they like me there. I, I am one of like five <laughs> employees there, and there's like 60 kids. They They're like not you, firing they me. they like your service? Yes. Because when I said that I was going to quit if they don't respect me, they said, no. No, 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 no. There's not enough people here. This part, da, 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 da. And it's just, just people, more kids are coming. Da, 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 da. I'm like, mm. Because they keep switching our directors. That pisses me off. Like, the only reason why my pay stub was wrong is because the director that they gave us was a trainee, and they didn't know what they were doing. So we, they, we didn't have any food because they didn't buy any food. They, we didn't have any I'll utensils. Say too much, you don't get your shit. Yeah, I'm to say. You, you're, so you're saying a lot, buddy. <laughs> I'm not Ruby. So don't even trace you that name back to me. You said your first name and your last name on this thing. Buddy. Don't chase this back to me. Anyway. Yeah. So they took a chance on me, and it worked. See, but they I, didn't know they were taking a chance on you technically because you put the, the babysitting on there. I didn't lie. It was yes, babysitting. Did. It counted. It counted to me. Babysitting is what if it was just you and Johanna. That grandma was somewhere in that house to make sure everything was in check. That's not babysitting. I grandma count. babysat. I count as babysitting. Yeah, most of the time, you didn't even do anything. You were in your room on your computer. The fuck me? So, <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> you didn't do anything. You were on your PS4. I didn't, say, I didn't see how baby said He owned it. He's not delusional. You don't know what to say. I did it. I did it. Well, they broke my laptop, so I'm, I'm putting it on there just in case. So you, you really didn't watch them? I they, did. They, and they broke Wait, the laptop. Wait, they broke your laptop? Yeah. That was a while so why, why didn't you stop them? <laughs> because I literally walked out of the room. No, I, no, to, no. I told them, you don't do that. You walked out of the room with two, and left two kids in the room by themselves. Three, actually, because I was there. Exactly. He was there. So I thought he would have confidence It's not his laptop. Exactly. Nigga. Am I the asshole? So the, the way this works is the person writing it wants to know are they the asshole? And they're gonna tell us the story. Ready? Okay. <clears throat> the title is Am I the asshole for refusing to lie about my husband's friends going to a strip club? No. My husband went out with two friends. <laughs> Both of them I know well and I consider their wives my friends. They are people I care about. I do not care if my husband goes to a strip club. I'm not upset he went that he went. What? Although I was upset I wasn't given notice so I could adjust mentally. My husband swears it was a last minute decision, which I can accept and get over. I knew it I knew about it the night of. <clears throat> he texted me and told me not to tell the wives that this was going to upset them. 
I became upset. I had no intention of running off to say anything to them, but knowing that they'd be upset is different. I knew one likely wouldn't approve, but wasn't going to inquire to find out for sure. I surprised, I was surprised about the other wife, as I know her husband has gone to strip clubs in the past, and once we all had planned to go to a strip club together with another friend, but plans didn't work out. <clears throat> I initially refused altogether, but attempted to compromise with my husband that unless I'm asked specifically, I won't say anything. I can't actually imagine a scenario where they'd ask me specifically. My husband stated that unless I agree to lie, he cannot have me around them at all and won't invite them over or go over there with me. <clears throat> While I consider them friends, they're all through my husband and they aren't people I usually hang out with without my husband. One lives a few hours away, the other one lives locally and we hung out a few times without our husbands, but it's rare. It's also always a family event with our kids, situations I'd be sad to lose. My husband's concern is they'll never want to hang out with him if he causes problems in their relationship and now regrets telling me, which is a new argument for us because finding out later would be a betrayal to me. So, am I the asshole if I don't agree to lie <coughs> if they ask specifically? No. Well, yeah. <clears throat> no, I just use us because obviously we're married in this. So, I go to a strip club with <coughs> Eli and Andre, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Brittany's cool with it. She says, as long as I tell her in advance that she's cool with it. I tell Brittany, okay. like, hey, this is the last minute thing we're about to go. Me, Eli, and Andre about to go to strip club. Brittany's friends with their wives, but she, I tell her, like, hey, whatever you do, don't tell their wives. They're not going to like it. Brittany says, I won't just come up and be like, hey, girl, guess what? But if they ask me, I'm going to tell the truth. And I'm over here saying, like, oh, I regret telling you. Why, why would you tell them? You need to lie for my friends. It's not fair because if you don't lie, it's going to piss them off, and then we're not going to be friends anymore. So is she the asshole? She's asking, am I the asshole for wanting to, or for, for refusing to lie? To mm, lie? She's in the right for not lying to, yeah. like, that's not her problem. Also, like, why would, it, like, like, if it don't be, if it don't tell them because they'll be mad. Because obviously, also, then that <laughs> gives her, like, the notion, like, well, Oh, and that means y'all doing something y'all shouldn't be. So, is obviously. Not, is that not, like, weird? Like, going to a strip club while you're married? It's very weird. Yeah, I was about to say, like, yeah, that, that, oh. that cannot be fucking normal. <laughs> All right. My best friend, 23 female, of 12 years, chose someone she's known a little over two years to be her maid of honor instead of me, 23 female. My best friend is getting married tomorrow, and I'm not going. Dang. We've been close ever since elementary school, and I've offered to make her wedding cake, but she chose someone else to be her bridesmaid and maid of honor. We've always talked about being each other's maids of honors. She included me from in her engagement party, and later, her bachelorette, bachelorette, par bac bachelorette. party. When she, I expressed my feelings, she was unapologetic and said I couldn't afford to be in the wedding. And told me that I shouldn't come to the wedding if I was just going to stress her out on her wedding day. And I decided not to make the cake or attend the wedding. Am I the a-hole for telling her I wouldn't make her the wedding cake? Edit. I wasn't very clear about it. But she lied to me in the, the whole year saying that her sister was the only one in her bridal party. A couple weeks ago, she went on her bachelorette cruise. That's when I found out it wasn't just her sister. She has an entire bridal party with her and girls... She's known for two years is her maid of honor. And a girl that she's known for two years is, is her maid of honor. Her sister isn't even in the bridal, bridal party. And I only found out because I have this girl on Snapchat. Update. So, I haven't heard anything from her and I'm blocked now. Which sucks. But I did find out that her sister was in fact the maid of honor. However, this girl is still a bridesmaid. Which means she still lied to me. Which I still, bro ha still have my heart. Which still has my heart broken day. And I missed her wedding because of a stupid lie where she could have just told me the truth and I would have cared. Wouldn't have cared. So okay. she wants to know that she's an asshole? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> For what? For just skipping the wedding? If, yeah. And not making and the I'll cake. And not making the cake. Yep. Yes. I think so. I, I mean, I get it. You're offended that like, it, you're, the plans have changed. Like, it's supposed to be her 
once in a lifetime. But she said not to come. She said and told me that I shouldn't come if I was just going to stress her out on her wedding day. Yeah. So don't stress her out and go. I guess. <coughs> that was simple. Or what do y'all think? I don't think she's the asshole. I'm being excluded for something. You're lying to me and you still want me to do you a favor? No. Yeah, that's true. But at the end of the day, yes, the lie is bad, but like who she chooses is up to her. Yeah. She's like, not like, leaving for that reason, though. She's leaving for the combination of all of it. If it were just being excluded, okay, fine. But the fact that you lied about it and you still want me to be... Uh, I mean, first, she, she, she chose a girl she only known for two years. She was already upset about that. Yeah, I'm not saying she's not upset about it, but I'm saying that's not the only reason she chose not to go to the wedding. It's a combination of everything. Yeah, and she's and, and she and she called her broke. Look, she yeah. says she excluded me from her engagement party, and later, wait, she was apo- unapologetic and said I couldn't afford to be in the wedding. That's yeah, crazy. Wait, that's, that's not, not calling her mean, broke. It's like saying, saying I know what you got going on in life right now. You can't afford to be in this wedding because my dress is going to be X amount of dollars. I know you got other shit going on. I don't think that's healthy. If I'm yeah, my I best friend, if like my best friend really wanted me there, like I would figure out like a payment plan or something. Mm-hmm. I'm not going into debt for my friend. Is that? That's well, not. Well, well, they could, into debt well, for they it, could help also, me out. You know, yeah. if they really want me there, but it's you like, want her to help. You'd help your friend out on your wedding when you already have. You're probably already footing the bill. If I, want I still help there, one of my friends. friends. That's the choice you made. Not everybody yeah, but that that's choice. that's still something that could work versus just lying to somebody. <clears throat> and like you've you've known that for like elementary school. If I if I had a friend since elementary school, I want them to come. And if I if like if they really want to come as well, then like we would both try to figure out okay how do you can, how could you come? Can you can you afford this? No, okay, then we can take a bike. If da, da, da. So, so like, you're saying come? She she was invited. She was uninvited actually. Yeah. She said if you're gonna stress me out. That's her different. expressing that's her like, feelings was stressing her out. So because her feelings were shut down and she's not allowed to express them, she's choosing peace and not coming to the wedding. Yeah. Also, or you could just shut the fuck up and smile and <laughs> congratulate your best friend for one night and let her have her big day. That's clearly not your best friend if she treats you like that. Exactly. Well, it, clearly you, it is if you're big enough, if you're upset enough to make a damn Reddit story about it. Okay, so this is a situation where she's finding out that the person she thought was her best friend clearly doesn't see her as the same. So she's respectfully bowing out. How? Because she said, hey, I have this thing and you, I don't think you can afford it. So I'm going to choose people that I know can afford it. Yeah, but if she really cared about her, then when she said, Maybe oh. Maybe she felt bad and she didn't want to like tell her straight up. Yeah, yeah but if she felt bad, then... <laughs> She wouldn't be ap- unapologetic. She'd be like, oh. She, when you're planning a wedding, it's probably really stressful. So like, she But like, if you truly felt bad, why lie? Because she's going to find out about it eventually. I mean, and then she's going to be more hurt if she actually did come to the wedding. And then all of a sudden you have, I don't know how many girls, but for the sake of it, you have five girls up there and she's not one of them. And you told her that you don't have anybody up there. And now all of a sudden you have five people. Yeah. Like, if, if I'm not invited, it doesn't really matter. You would... Because your best friend didn't invite you to then meet Mbappe. Then he's clearly not my best friend. Spiteful as hell. Because your best friend didn't put you in a party, now I'm not going to make your cake. But fuck he, you in but the cake. But he lied. But she I lied. Don't really she care. didn't lie. Everybody she lied. Didn't. Mad. She literally said, I'm mad because she didn't make me the maid. She picked somebody random as the maid of honor. In the update, I did find out her sister was the maid of honor. So, I'm too broke to be in your wedding, but not too broke to pay for the, the ingredients to make your cake. Yeah, Nigga, you she offered to make the cake, and then when she found out that what she thought was a lie, or when she found out what the fact that she thought it was a lie, she's like, "Oh, I'm not gonna make it no more." You take um, it, so that's spiteful. You offer to make it, and then you find out something you don't like, and like, I'm not gonna do it. Not anymore. necessarily. That's like okay, if we had something <laughs> coming up in June, we make a commitment to go and bring whatever cookies and then something happens between now and june with the household that we were going to like some bad blood between us and the people who own that house now we choose not to come 
Y'all can figure out how to get whatever we were going to bring on your own. A We're not assholes for... And somebody's wedding cake is different. A random party Just because you're getting married doesn't give you the right to be an asshole. Nobody's being an asshole. How is she being actually, an asshole because she didn't choose you? How about you no, get off not your high horse not, and be, but, stop being upset? But she was being it. unapologetic about it. Like, I feel like that's the whole part. Like She didn't really care that she was hurting her feelings. Yeah. No, I don't really care that you're crying. That I didn't pick you to be my maid of honor. The fact that you feel entitled to be my maid of honor just because I know you longer, just because I know you longer. But they talked about it. You got to be picked to do something. Like, like, dang! So she really lied twice. Yeah, like they were talking about like because they were already committed to being each other's maid of honors. Yeah, and then when time comes, talked about being each other. I didn't say, oh yeah, you're definitely in for sure. We just talked about it. Oh, wouldn't it be cool? So if I said, wouldn't it be cool if you were my uh, the groom's man? You say, yeah, wouldn't it be cool? Doesn't mean I'm locked in. Now, if you say, Dahama, you're going to be my groomsman for sure. Then that's locking me in. But we just talked about it. Wouldn't it be cool? Yeah, that's cool. We talked about it. Well, we don't talking know. about could mean a lot of things. Shit. You don't well, know. because you was in a house with two kids. You babysat. Yeah, that's the type of shit y'all doing. Talking about it, we don't know exactly what that means. We can interpret it the way you're interpreting it, or we can interpret it the way we talked about it. We're locked in. So you can really choose how you want to see it. We're just going to leave that there. That's fine. And like based on like what how she felt about it, it felt like like it was like a more of like a yeah you're definitely in type of thing mm-hmm. instead of more like a. But wouldn't it be I'll, messed up to like not have your sibling in the wedding? I don't know. It feels like it just being you're not really the best friend, you know. It's like just this being, is also coming from the perspective of the hurt person. We don't even have the perspective of the actual bride. Bride, if you're out there, that's your cue. Mm-hmm, you suck. <laughs> She's all right. Mm. All right. So we got two more. <clears throat> Am I the asshole for suggesting a no gift policy in my family? Almost two years ago, my father passed away. He was the most important figure in my sister's life. Therefore, my sister is 47. Dang. They were always there for each other, even though they constantly argued. He supported her through her breast cancer and she supported him through his two tumors at, until the end. What the hell? Since then, she has been searching for <clears throat> her place in the world and within our family. Our family now consists of just my brother and his family, me and my family, and her. <clears throat> we often argue, most recently, about gifts. <clears throat> her point of view is that she's at a disadvantage compared to us because she's alone. While my brother and I both have two children. So she, so she should give, oh, so she would have to give six gifts, but only receives two in return. The phone call had already been going on for a very long hour and my empathy was running low. I refused to apologize for having children and suggested that none of us should give gifts anymore, but she would have to accept the possibility of not receiving any either. She called me an asshole and hung up. Overnight, I warmed up to the idea and thought it was a good solution. I don't like making gifts for people that can buy whatever they want and the children either have parents that know what is needed or have wish lists. The next day, I sent the the solution without mentioning the problem to our sibling WhatsApp group chat. I received a thumbs up from my brother and another asshole from my sister. Am I the asshole? No. (laughs) <laughs> you, you try to love with her, and then you call, and then you called her you a butthole. So, I think you're trying to, and even even though his patience was running low, he still would try to compromise. Mm-hmm. And if the sister who was single was smart and feeling some type of way about having to give every single person a gift, she could have just gave a household gift to each family. Yeah, that's yeah. still two gifts. We could have gave them like an Oculus or something. She's doing the most, honestly, but she's not that asshole for. Suggesting nobody gets gifts. Yeah. Just focus on your own family. Oh, dang. She doesn't have a family. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. No, yeah, still not the asshole. Yeah. Well, it's like no one gives gifts. I don't I don't really think it's like a, it's a big deal. He was running. I, I think it was like good that he thought about it even after like the phone call. Am I the asshole for throwing a tantrum at my mother for cutting into a cake I baked for the family? I, female, 17. Why'd you look at me? Because yeah. you're 17 female and 17. you're female. Why? That's not quite a thing. 
Did you just say spit? Oh, maybe. Spit. What? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> oh, I gotta show them the video. I think they'd enjoy it. What video? Hand in the air and break your uh, wrist. Ruby, what? <laughs> Diseased. I, female 17, baked a cheesecake for my family to share. Mm. And I was letting it cool down when my mother cut herself a slice. It was still hot, so it crumbled on itself. I was really upset because I had worked super hard to make it and I was hoping to take photos. Also, the cheesecake doesn't taste right when hot, so I yelled at her. Why would she do that? Especially since I already told her that the cheesecake needed to cool for eight hours. My mother says since she made, since she paid for the ingredients and pays the bills that lets us use the oven, I have no right to complain about it and it's for, also it's for the family. Why does it matter if it tastes better when it's cool? It's her choice as the person that wants to eat it. And she grounded me for being disrespectful and a selfish bitch. And my brother is on her side and says I need to get over it. Why do I care so much over a cake? Who cares? We all ate it anyway. Isn't that what you wanted? Am I the asshole? Yes. Yeah. Why would you yell at your mom? Actually, actually. She, that, I feel like that's something that, like, that's, I don't know if it sounds mean, but, like, that's mom would do that. Yeah. Like, she would... Because I've made brownies before, right? And, like, she, like, like and, like, she paid for the stuff. So, that, like, she obviously gets, like, I always give her the first piece. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah. Aw, you're so sweet. Okay, I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, um, um, yeah, like, basically, I feel like her mom has every right to take, like, to cut into the cheesecake, whether it's, like, done cooling or not. Because she, she, like she said, she pays the bills. She pays for the ingredients and everything else so yeah um i can understand why she was frustrated of course you do. <laughs> i can do, I, do. I, 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 I can understand why she would be frustrated because it's like it works it's so it's it, it's it's so infuriating when you work so hard on something and it's just like boom gone like that che like cheesecakes don't like take like hours of work in the kitchen to make sure that they don't go flat and make sure that you're, you're looking at like, make sure you're paying attention to them in the oven so they don't uh get burnt because they have to be like like when you cut open them they still have to be like kind of really soft but also kind of crispy on the outside just a little bit right so it takes it's like it takes hard work making a cheesecake and then also and then also just be okay all i have to do is just sit and do nothing for the next eight hours and it'll be ready and then someone cuts into it like it's not like, just someone it's your mom if i Low wasted key. the thing sorry sorry yeah. low-key she is the asshole because if it takes eight hours to cool, why are you doing it when the family's ready to eat? Shouldn't did it eight hours ago. Yeah. yeah. Is the family ready to eat? Let me see. It doesn't say the mom was ready to eat. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel like I agree with that. Mom would do something like that. Like she would know because like there's times there'll be there'll be times when I'm trying to do something and I'm like mom, oh you're being really that right loud right now. Can we stop? And then she say, okay, and then five minutes later, do the same thing. Oh, I remember like, back, like back the, in um, when your wedding. My wedding? I had, to, I had to do a test, right? Right? And if anyone talked, she could get filed for cheating, right? Because right? they were recording her. Mm -hmm. And I said, Mom, okay, y'all need y'all need to stop making noise, right? Literally, I don't even know who who, who did it. I think it was Mom or Grandma. She's, Mom started singing. Exactly. And I, that's just, I was like, okay. And I was I, at that point, like, I knew they weren't going to do anything because I don't think they were really, like, they flag stuff for that. And so I'm talking to some. What did I talk? I didn't. Yeah, I think they were talking in the background, like they were whispering. But I don't like that, that. Still kind of pissed me off because like I literally just told you no more than five minutes ago. And if I get flagged for cheating, then you're gonna be like, well, you shouldn't have done it earlier. But I don't know. I mean, yeah. If it if it tastes good still, then we'll just food. I don't really care. I'm not really a baking person, so I don't think y'all take that much time. Okay, let me put this in my perspective. Like, if I was working on, like, a project, right? And it's like, oh, all I need to do is wait for the glue to dry. And then Johan comes in being a freaking gargantuan. And then he just, and he accidentally um, uh, does it over. And it's like, oh, well, it's, it still looks good. It still looks decent. But it still, it still, like, it still affects the, the work and the work and pride that I put into it. I can see why she'd be upset. But like throwing a tantrum is like yelling at them is not gonna do anything. Yeah, I would yell at you, but still, 
Not over cheesecake though. Cheesecakes are kind of stupid. Uh, just to comment on what your favorite part was, and subscribe. If it's red, you need to click it. If it's still red, you need to click it twice. But if it's gray, gray, then click it one more time. It'll turn. Wait, what? If it's red, click it one more time so it'll turn you gray. Lose all those fucking subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if it yeah, click the like button. Uh, make sure you comment. Something that you really liked in this video. Uh, if you made it this far, comment blue pajama pants. That doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Comment Can't... something that what we talked about. Comment meth. Okay. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag wedding cake. Hashtag wedding cake. Okay. Are we our slogan? Hash... Uh, oh, it's keep like, your minds put. Pl- keep your keep minds, minds open and keep your volume turned, turned, turned up. Mmm. Locked in. Respect, respect. Yeah. Bye. See you next time. Adios, amigos. Au revoir. Sayonara. Sorry, Nara. Uh, bye, crocodile. See you later, alligator. And for a while, crocodile. In a minute, little cricket. That doesn't even fuck me. <laughs> <laughs>